Hi, welcome back to Super Long Land. You probably have seen part one of when we unboxed the Mega Light Up Dino. Hmm. So what are we going to do now? So we talked before about this, didn't we? Tell us about this. So this is a scratch map. Right. And you scratch these to tell you what's in order. So I'll Okay, so we've got these bits, right? Yeah. So Stickers, we've got, we've got old mini... Those things. guys we unboxed, And we mentioned yeah. in this egg, what is it called? It's called Red Egg. Uh, he's He's got a scratch on his eye. So yeah. beware, because it, it doesn't, it's not very good paint. They okay. are small. Um, so, I'm going to use my scissors, and we're going to get started. Okay, so Wait. you're going to scratch the first, first one. First, I'm going to show you how to rebuild these. Uh, no, so. let's do that in a separate video, because it's not a hot thing of all it's on its own. Okay. So just explain to us what does it say above the thing. So you're going to scratch off number so one. So it's not a scratch map, and if I scratch, so it says our hint is every dino has a tale to tell. Right. And tale is spelled T A I L. It's like a joke. So in this, whatever, whatever we need to unpack. Yeah. Whatever is in here, um, there's going to be a tail inside. So. This is our colour change sand. Okay. See that I've scratched it off. Yep. Yeah. Do you need a bowl or anything to put that in? I will move the scratch me. Now I know what we're getting because I found out that the bone has a difference to what we're getting. So the actually I won't tell you, I'll tell you at the end. Oops. So you're opening, what is this, colour change sand, you said? Yeah, this is colour change sand. <coughs> and in what way does it change colour? Because of heat or wetness? I think wet it wetness changes or? colour in heat. And and did you get, right, did you get the same thing in the other Zero Smashers? This is a new thing. No, we didn't get this. We got the, the, the Dino Dirt, which is kinetic sand, like this, it doesn't change colour. It's right. still really good farmer. Watch there. And then it's got a little zip lock. So you can so you can do it over you can use the packet to store it in. Looks like you missed finger day at the gym. Yeah. But don't cut it because then you're not gonna be able to seal it, you? No, it's I cut it above the seal. You take the camera. So explain this to us though, so you've got bits, so you're going to unleash bits of a dinosaur, is that the point? Basically we're building a dinosaur. Okay. So it's a bit like Lego. And then in here we've got a small portion of the low, wait, not glow, um, um, colour change sand. So it's orange at the moment. I think, whoa. Is it the warmth from your hand? I think Why it don't does you breathe on it? Like, oh. Maybe it does change colour over the heat because like, this is a fire set. Mm -hmm. This isn't stretchy at all. It just crumbles, which I really like. I, I like kinetic sand because it crumbles. Okay, well, should we pop it back in the packet and move on to the next thing? Mm, okay. So basically, you can see tiny bits of yellow. Yeah, don't in drop it. it over the edge. Thanks. Okay, I'll put that back in the packet, and we'll put our pieces there. So that's part. Just of put it on the side. We'll tidy it up afterwards. Just move it to the side of the table. Okay. Just need a bit of a tidy done. Okay, that is done. Okay, what does the scratch map say is next? Next is last one. What does it say? No, it just tells you. It tells you, it just has a picture of what. What is this? Dirt on the chair. Oh, yeah, that's too much. 
cut it because of like a little rip where you would rip with your fingers. But I just think it's easier to just snip it. Do you need a bowl for the slime? I mean, we might, we'll, at the end, we'll need a bowl for the slime. I mean, let's get a bowl for the slime. It's not that bad. Um, I have to Thanks. You can get a Pyrex one from the drawer if you want. What? If you go for the right hand drawers, you can get one of the Pyrex C3 ones. So, in the Ice Age pack, there is this thing called Crystal Slime, and it's like this, but it is, ooh, it is stretchy. Slime's one of those toys that's really um, survived the test of time. Remember when I was your age, I had a He-Man toy that was called, like, Skeletor's yeah, it, Death Mountain or something, and you would, there was like this hand thing that would trap your goodie or your baddie, and then there was a bit at the top where you kind of poured slime. It might be called something sl slime pit or something. Anyway, that was slime. And here we are a billion years later and we're still playing with slime. Yeah. I think it's just a cool concept. Uh, we've got our legs in here. Both, both legs in one? Yeah, both legs. It cool. usually comes with both legs. So I'll get them out and then I'll clean them off with like water at the end, and then yeah, just clean it as much as you can now. Oh, oh, oh! So it's like snot because in these eggs, but which doesn't have the light up, uh, they've got these like glow in the dark snot that has little yellow bits in it and then white bits, and it's, it's like a different texture of snot. But that's actually, that's actually really stretchy. Okay, make sure you get the slime off the back of your fingers, cause. Lucky. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's move on. What's next? Oh, you. Okay. Go on, dude. Next bit. Okay, okay. I'll leave these in this box. Yeah. It's a good slide. Uh, you know, water slime. Mm. Giddy and disgusting. Okay, next thing. Uh, that clue was just there was do you lava dinosaurs? I love the dinosaurs. You've still got quite a lot of goop on your fingers. Right, come on, what's next? The second clue, the third clue, is how much do you volcano? Like, well, should we leave that one till last? Because I think we know that's going to be this one, but we're not going to do that till last, because we need to go outside. Is it there? Yeah, it is that. Um, yeah, they so call me Columbo. we'll do that last, just pretend we've already done that. Now it is the stretchy foam. I have a feeling because if you saw part one, Sam came in, and when we paused to in, so we were like we were waiting, um, so we were waiting to make the other one because we were having lunch. Um, but I went to see his, and this this really isn't stretchy at all. Non-stretchy foam. Yeah. Just foam then. Just foam. Get your fingers in there. Okay, it just needs to be snipped off. Come on. Do you know who Jeff Capes is? Who is Jeff Capes? He was a guy when I was a kid that would um, 
Well, the big trick I remember was he'd always rip phone directories in half. What are phone directories? Yeah, actually, I just realised you have absolutely no idea what that is. Before mobile phones, everyone's house had a phone, like a landline phone, you know, one that plugs into the wall. And in the phone directory, it would tell you um, everyone's address, everyone's phone number. So you'd look up Gaston, and then you'd find Tom Gaston, and it'd have your phone number. Uh, anyway, these books were like this thick, like four inches, three inches thick. And Jeff Capes used to be able to tear them in half. Yeah. I can't remember how we got onto Jeff Capes, but he would have been able to open that. That was my point. Uh, yeah, so this isn't stretchy at all. Yeah, that looks like real guff. It is. Um, but we have a... So now we know that we have a T-Rex. I knew this because it says how to build it. So okay, it's pretty good. So there's a skull. Uh, when you warm it up, actually, yeah, when you warm it up, it gets a bit better. I like it because it doesn't seem to be quite as messy. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh it is quite stretchy. I was wrong. Sam had left it out on the sofa bed. Oh, good. So it's just sitting in there on the sofa bed, is it? I think I think I, I tidied it up, but no, no. That old chestnut. It was all gone. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Move on. <clears throat> no, I know it's this, and this doesn't come with any slime. It's not. It's not like a mini one of these. It's what does that thing say on the packet? I can just see the word mega. Mega. Mega light up dino. Oh, we just. I think we should open that. Because look, it says everybody wants a pet dino. Right. It comes with that. What is that? That is if I do this. Hey, that's the inside of the that's bone the thing. That's the inside of the bone. Right. To light it up. Right. Well, do we need to open this? Well, I'll do that in a second for you. Two elastic. Well, let me open this and that for you. So you take this. No, I, I managed to do this with Sam. Mm-hmm. Basically, you just take that out. Okay. And, and open this one. And then that makes it. Do this. And then, last of all, also, which is really good. Oh, right, cool. All right, that's the last bit, isn't it? Okay, so that's the last bit. And surprise, we got the T-Rex. Does this just do this forever? Yeah, I think it stops like after an hour. An hour? I don't know. 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 I put that there. And we still have that, so this comes with the little arms. Okay, cool. What are you going to do? Are you going to put the dinosaur together quickly? I think we should do this... Uh, but, so... Oh, you've still got parts in the lava thing. Dino fat, T-Rex, T-Rex... Okay, listen, let's just pause then. You get some water and we'll carry on in a second. Just put it on the ground. Okay, we've moved outside. Peel this. The one in the background is Tom's brother, Sam's. He's just cracked on. Uh, so... Dude, pick up the plastic as you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is... Oh, it just goes straight on top. Do I just pour it on? I don't know. Is there not words on the label there? Dude, there's a label. What does this it say? Is not... It has. Oh, the life of a YouTube dad. Careful, there's a wasp on Sam's one. I got stung by a wasp the other day. It makes me bloodthirsty for them. Don't kill it, please, Tom. Just leave it. Okay, so wasp perverted. Like sand stuff in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have there. Put water in it, it'll fizz. Yeah. Whoa, fizzy whizzy. It's pretty guff if you ask me. 
Yeah, like it doesn't. I think it's meant to erupt. Well, okay. Is there uh, not a part in there? Is there not part there, of the there dinosaur? Are, there's like the. Well, you pour it out into your bowl. Okay. Uh, don't put. I think it says. I'm not sure you should have this in the bar. Okay. It's well, toxic. make sure you read the instructions before you do it. Anyone doing it? It is toxic. Yeah, it's not to be. Easy. Okay, we'll need to move this away so the dog doesn't drink it as well. Yeah. Should I put it to there? Yes. Not in there. Okay. I didn't. I meant you pour it into the other bowl. All right. Oh. I'm going to spank Tom's bum and then we'll move inside. Now we're just going to clean this. Okay. So I'm going to clean Okay, now I'm going to separate all the pieces into what they are. Like this. Okay, what are the bits? So, this is... So, there is a T-Rex head, a head, a torso, a tail, two arms... I'm pretty sure you can work out what they are without looking at the instructions, no? It doesn't say anything. Uh, I don't know what this is. Like, I was thinking maybe a robo-intestine. Does it hang out of its butt? No, it... it's like... it goes... Oh, it goes in the middle. Okay. Um, and then some feet. Do we need to take this bit off like we did for uh, Sam? Like, with Sam's, this thing came off. Yeah, let's do that. Let me help. Okay, I'll hold the camera. Okay. Okay. So now there's something in there. And you can see little two little pegs. Yeah. And you can see two bits that are in there. Okay. So you slot it into there and press it down. And now, if we... When we put the tail in, it will like flip this switch in here. Okay. Like that, and then it will light up this bit. So, and then we put this back on. Is that definitely in properly? It looks like. Okay. It's fine. Mm, you're the boss. Trust me, it doesn't fit. Um, and then we've got that. Yeah. And then we get the tail, we get the head. Is it not a twist on rather than a force on? No, you force it on. Not Jeff. Like that. Yep. And then you get the tail, and you, it's like curved. And usually with the Ice Age, if you like turn the tail, their mouth opens. Okay. Or their, no, their head turns. I think with the Raptor. And then, look, now I've got a tail. And yeah. Then, Whoa. And then makes the, that thing light up. Oh, nice. And I said in part one that we would make like, like everything light up. Why don't we put the arms and the legs on? I feel like you peaked a bit early here. So, I'm going to do the sounds. So, then we're going to put these legs on. Come on, Jeff. But the minute you put something on, it was... Um, I'm going to put... So, as you can see, it is like cut... It, the body is curved. Yeah. Into a shape, like, it's really wagging its tail. Very good. Now, uh, I thought there was going to be a yellow one, which is a... What, what's those dinosaurs with the spine on the back? Spinosaurus? Stegosaurus? Spinosaurus? Do you it's think it's like, It's got like a fan on its back. Uh, yeah, I'm going for Stegosaurus. No, it's not got multiple spines, it's just like one big fan. Uh, Phanosaurus. No! Uh, I think it's going to be... <laughs> Right, come on, let's get the dinosaur finished. The poor thing's lying on his face with his arms off. Um, so we have him. He stands up now. Okay, arms. And then you've got your, his little itty bitty arms, which, you, which are really easy to put on. Okay, cool. And now that is your dino. Excellent. Let's see him at the side. Side. He looks very good. Front. Yeah. Other side. 
Okay, well, let's have him at the side and you can turn on the growling. Okay. So let's see him at the side and. Terrifying. You wouldn't want to be a guinea pig or anything with that thing coming after you, would you? No. Okay, fantastic. Uh, usually with these giant things, the sad thing is, you see there's like a splint paint thing there. Uh, a little blob. Yeah. They don't paint that when they paint these this bit and that bit. Oh, you expected it to be green. Okay, well, never yeah. mind. Yeah. Okay. So is that the end of our Zuri Smash thing? I know we're going to come back and show people how to quickly rebuild the eggs, but is yeah. that is that everything? How I, much do you enjoy these? Are these really good fun? I think these are really, really good for children because like you get to feel different textures, you get to have little toys, you get to like fight with them with this. There's just a lot of stuff, isn't there? It's just a lot of stuff. Um, any complaint from Dad is that there's too much plastic waste. There is too much plastic waste. It's the wrapper, it's the second layer of stuff. Although, to be fair, that's pretty true of all of these kind of plasticky tap type toys. So, you know. Yeah, and this, I think they could have done a better thing than that. I don't uh, know if it yeah. came like that or it was like... You're quite cross about that, aren't you? I'm really cross about Raging. That. Okay. All right. Well, let's sign off. Anyway, um... <laughs> See you when we're doing the egg thing, which I don't know why we're doing a separate video, but see you now. Bye. Bye.